Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi was on a three-day, three-nation European trip this week where he engaged with top leaders of Germany, France, Denmark and other Nordic countries. The visit primarily focused at deepening the multi-front cooperation between India and European countries. While Germany announced an advanced commitment of 10 billion euros, France signaled it was looking forward to working with India on civil nuclear cooperation. Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi, along with key members of his cabinet, including Foreign Minister Subramaniam Jaisankar and Finance Minister Nirmala Sitharaman, held sixth India-Germany intergovernmental consultations last week. A total of nine agreements were signed between India and Germany. This included a joint declaration of intent on green and sustainable development partnership under which Germany agreed to make an advance commitment of 10 billion euros equivalent to 10.52 billion dollars of new and additional developmental assistance to India until 2030. German Chancellor Olaf Scholz expressed his confidence in the growth of Indian economy, which he said will hold key responsibility in the global fight against climate change. Angesichts der Bedeutung, die Indien haben wird wirtschaftlich und auch im Hinblick auf seine Bevölkerungsentwicklung, ist auch klar, dass im Hinblick auf den globalen Klimaschutz Indien ein Schlüsselland ist. Und das ist wichtig für die Zusammenarbeit, die wir in diesem Bereich entfalten. Deshalb bin ich sehr froh, dass wir eine ganze Reihe von Vereinbarungen haben abschließen können und insbesondere diejenige, die wir eben haben unterzeichnen können. India has now been making inroads into the European market, with the latter being largely appreciative of Delhi's commitments towards achieving its ambitions in the past few years. While the European Commission President had last week paved the way for a better trade connectivity between the two sides by agreeing to establish a Trade and Technology Council, India and the European Union are set to hold an initial round of negotiations on a free trade agreement in June this year. As per different sources and reports, the two sides are looking to seal the deal by late 2023 or early 2024. हम एफटीए वार्ताओं में शीघ्र प्रतिबद्ध के प्रगति के लिए प्रतिबद्ध हैं भारत के कुशल कामगारों और प्रोफेशनल से the Ukraine-Russia war, which has had polarizing ripple effects in the past two months, was also one of the important discussions during PM Modi's entire visit. Modi reiterated Indian stance urging the two countries to resort to dialogue and discussion. He said India was and will always watch for peace. While meeting his Danish counterpart Matej Fredriksson, Modi lauded her efforts on the green strategic partnership that both the countries share. Speaking about the mutual goals of Denmark and India, he mentioned the green strategic partnership that aims at further economic and political ties between the two nations and also nurturing budding job opportunities. Green Strategic Partnership Pradhan Mantri Fredrickson ki Vettigat Prathvitao aur unki values se guided hai. 
The prime ministers also pledged to continue to deepen cooperation between the Nordic countries and India and focus their discussions extensively on international peace and security, including the conflict in Ukraine and multilateral cooperation. Blue economy, climate and sustainable development and multilateral cooperation in the context of COVID aftermath were the key agendas of the Nordic summit. Narendra Modi received a grand welcome on his last leg of tour by the French president Emmanuel Macron. Macron has recently been re-elected the country's president. The ties between India and France have grown stronger, with Delhi expanding its defence import destination. New Delhi has acquired 36 4.5th generation aircraft from France. While discussing the entire range of ties, the two sides have committed to deepen ties at multiple fronts, including the fight against climate change. Experts who have dubbed the Indo-French ties as a connection of hearts have said the relationship is only going to get stronger in coming times.